this video, I will show you how to draw this cute hippo step by step. Before we get started, you can download tutorial files via the link below. If you like my YouTube videos, you can access even more tutorials and brush sets on my Patreon. You can check it out via the link in the video description below. Now let's grab our pencils and get started. I've created a canvas with the dimensions of 2000 by 2500 pixels, DPI 300. And in the beginning, I'm going to change the background color. So let's tap on the background layer and select the first color from the palette. This swatches file is included in the tutorial bundle, which you can download for free in the video description. Today the palette has only 7 colors, so I didn't rename them, as it will be easy to use in compact mode. Let's now go to calligraphy set from Procreate and pick monoline brush for drawing. Also, I've gone ahead and increased the amount in streamline and in stabilization. In streamline it is set to maximum and in stabilization it is at 36%. This way, even if your hands are shaking, Procreate will stabilize it for you and you will get smooth lines. As the base color for hippo drawing, I will be using this orange. After that, I will set the size to around 20% and start drawing the hippo's head using simple shapes. I will first draw an oval looking shape like this, then fill it with a color, adjust color drop threshold so it fills the entire area and add another shape on the right. Let's also drag the color here and draw two small shapes for the ears that will also look like ovals. Then fill them as well. I actually like how this came out, but if you want you can use liquify tool in push mode to fix the shape. Next I'd like to draw the body that will have this cute fat belly. To do it I will create a layer below the head and draw another oval looking shape. It'll go this way. Let's close the invisible part under the head. And after that fill this area by dragging the color inside. Now that this shape is ready, let's add a t-shirt on it. For that I will create another layer on top of this one. Then clip it, so the strokes will stay inside the shape. As the base color for the t-shirt, I'm going to use the color number 5, which is this purple. I'll just draw an arc on the belly. From left to right. Then outline the rest of the t-shirt and drag the color inside. We can also add the stripes here right away. I'll do it on another layer that I will create above this one and clip. I will pick the next color on the right that is slightly darker. When drawing a pattern on volumetric objects such as this one, we need to consider that it's not just a circle, but it's actually a sphere. So we can't just draw straight lines, they need to be curvy. I will start drawing curves parallel to this edge and make them wider on the sides. The last line will go close to the neck. Now we need to connect the edges of the shapes that we want to fill. I will start with this one. Then skip one line and connect the next on the sides to be able to fill it. Then skip one more line and fill this one. We will add the shading later and now we can merge these two layers and start adding more body parts. Let me now create a layer below this one. Pick base color. And I will draw this arm. I will make it as easy as it can be. Let's connect this invisible part under the head and fill the area. We can draw the sleeve right away. To do that I will create a layer above the current one and then clip it. Let's select the base color for the t-shirt and draw an arc. I will also outline the area around the arm and fill it 
and next draw the stripes. So let's create another layer above this one and also clip it to the arm. Now let's switch to this dark color and draw a few more arcs. Here comes the first one, then one more and the last one here. I will also connect them on the sides and fill. The shading will be added later. Let's now draw the second arm. And for that I will create a layer above the body, but below the head. Also pick the base color. I will first draw an arc on the right side, going this way. Then continue with another arc. And I will also consider the shape of the sleeve which I will make a little more complex. I will just make this small curve here. And then at the shoulder. Let's also connect it here. And fill the shape. Let's now add the sleeve. So we also need to create a new layer. And clip it. I will select the color right from the t-shirt. And draw an arc at the bottom first. The shape can be edited. I will place the arc this way, so we will get almost a circle at the lower part. Then outline the remaining area above it and fill to draw the sleeve. Actually all shapes on the right side will be a little bigger, because we are looking at the hippo with an angle, so the proportions change a little. Let's now also add the stripes here. With this dark color. I will also create a new layer and then clip. I will draw an arc from here and then one more. Connect it on the sides and fill. We can add a smaller one under the head. Now it is also ready. Let's draw the legs. So these two legs can be merged, as well as these two. To draw this leg, I will create a layer below the body. And pick the base color. This shape may look like a novel, but slightly distorted. I will make this edge a little more round. Then also close this part and fill it. To draw the second leg, I will create a layer above the body. And also lower the opacity of the body layer just a little bit, so we can see the shape that we are drawing. This shape will look even more like a novel. Just not so perfect. Let's add an angle to it. Then fill it and I will also use warp tool to make the lower part a little wider. Now it will look like an egg, not like a novel. And we can bring back the opacity of the body. Let's now draw the eyes and after that proceed to shading. So I'll go ahead and create a lay above the head. Also pick this dark color. We can also lower the brush size a little, because the shapes will be small. I will make one of the eyes bigger, because of the angle that we are looking at the hippo. And the eyes will also go with an angle to each other. When the shapes are ready, we just need to fill them. And after that we can add reflected lights. We can do it right on the same layer. I'll just go to the color disk and double tap on the light area to pick pure white color. Then draw two smaller ovals. Maybe we can make the size even smaller. The first one will go this way. And the second one on the right side. Now we can start shading and adding the details. So let me go ahead and create a new layer above all layers. I will select this purple color number 5 and ink a brush from inking set. 
we will draw a few details that will work as guidelines and help us with future shading. The size can be set to around 9 or 10 percent and we will turn the hippo into a toy by adding some stitches on it. I'll start from the biggest one and draw it on the head. It will start from the eyes and go as an arc. The thickness of the line will depend on the pressure. And we can also adjust the shape after drawing. Now we can add a few shorter strokes. The first one will go from here. Then I will draw a few more. And the last one. Let's draw these details on the ears. Here I'm not pressing too much, so the lines are not so thick. We can also add him a smile. So I will start from this curve and continue it. Then draw a small arc on the tip. We can also determine the place for the nostril. So I will draw an arc like this and another one on the opposite side. We can also add them on the legs. So let me start from this side and make an arc. I will also edit the shape. And then draw a few shorter strokes for the stitches. If you want to make them thicker, you just need to press more. Finally, I will draw on the second leg. Also make an arc. After that, draw short line for the stitches. Here comes the first one. And then two more. Let's now grab a razor and set it to soft brush. We can make the size smaller, around 4%. And just erase the tips of each line. I will erase this part that goes outside and a little inside. Also make this tip sharper and less visible. Let's do the same on this leg. Now it is ready. Let's proceed to shading. And I think we can start with the head. So I'm going to the lay with the head creating another one above it and clipping it. Here I'm not using alpha lock. Clipping mask will be more handy, because we can use eraser and smudge tool with it. As the first shading color, I'm going to use this brown color next to orange. And to pick a shading brush, I will go to Procreate Charcoals and select one charcoal brush. We just need to set the size. I think it can be around 30%. I will start making strokes on the right side of the head, building the shading gradually and not pressing too much. I will draw more on the edge to make it darker. After that make a few more strokes inwards this way. Now we can make a stroke on the left side, just like this. After that I will switch to purple color and draw more on the edge to make it even darker. We can draw right at the bottom of the head and make a stroke like this. Now I will go to selection. From this menu pick freehand without color fill. I will draw along the smile. And then outline the area outside it. Close the selection. And go back to brush. Let's make the size smaller. And apply the color. To add the shadow for the smile. Once it is done, we can deselect. And continue shading. Right now I will select pink color that comes second. Increase the size back to 30% and draw slightly here, in the middle of the head. 
keeping the subtle texture. Then I will make the size a little smaller and draw behind the eyes. We can blend these colors together. And after that I will work on the ears. So let me go back to brown color. I will keep the small size and paint the entire ears. After that grab a razor and set it to the same bind charcoal brush. Make the size small and erase the color like this, next to the lines. Now let's select purple color first and make strokes on the sides to darken the edge. After that select pink color and draw for the highlights. Here I used eraser because if we applied light color on the dark one, it would look dirty, so it's better to use eraser first. Now it is totally fine. Let's continue and add some shadows behind the eyes. We can actually use this color, small brush size and draw under the eyes. After that select purple and draw on top. Now the eyes look like they are inside. What we have left to do is add the reflected light on this dark edge. I will do it with this pink color. The brush size is still low and I will make the stroke along this edge very carefully. Then draw on this dark edge as well. We need it to separate the head from the t-shirt because it is also dark. Now it is also done. Let's work on the nostril. We can actually continue on the same layer, but use selection. First I will outline the nostril in freehand mode. Following this line. We just need to close the selection by tapping here and then activate the brush. First I will apply brown color, make the size bigger and draw on the side. After that select purple and draw more closer to the edge to make it even darker. Only on the left side. This part will be highlighted, so I will select pink color and draw inside. After that deselect. We will get a nostril like this. Now the head is totally ready. Let's go further and next shade the t-shirt. I will start with the biggest part. So I'm going to this layer, creating another one and clipping it. Let's first select this dark color from here. Set the size to 30% and make strokes on the right side to darken it. Also go a little under the head to add the cast shadow. We assume that the light is coming from this side with an angle, so the right side of the hippo will be in shadow. After that I will also draw on the left side. Not pressing too much and making horizontal strokes on the edge. If the texture goes below the sweater, we can use eraser set to monoline to get rid of the texture, because we will shade this part later and on a separate layer. I will just remove it and then we continue adding the highlights. I'll do it on a separate layer that I will create above this one. We also need to clip it. For the highlights I will be using this pink color. Let's lower the size a little and make a stroke somewhere on the belly as an arc. 
We can also set a razor to one charcoal brush and erase the edges to make them textured. Let me work a little more here and I think I will even move it. And rotate according to the shape. Now we can add reflected light. So I will lower the brush size and draw on the edge. This way we will also separate this big part of the sweater with a sleeve. We can add it on the right side as well. Just a small stroke. Now this part is shaded. Let's go to the sleeves. And I think we can work on this one. So I'm merging these layers, go into the layer with the sleeve, creating another one above it and also clipping. This layer will be clipped to the arm, not to the sleeve. And if we start applying the color, it will also go to the arm. To avoid it, we can do the following. Go to the layer with the sleeve, open the menu and pick select. If the selection doesn't work properly, you can switch to automatic and slide to the sides to adjust the selection threshold. Once it is fine, we can go back to the newly created layer. Now let's select this dark purple color for shading and make strokes on the sides to add the shading. I will go under the head for the cast shadow and then draw on the left side. Make the size smaller and apply the color on the edge. Like this. Let's keep the selection active and create another layer for the highlights. Also clip it. Here we can use this light pink color again. I will make the size bigger and make a stroke this way on the left side of the sleeve. Then select a razor set to one charcoal and start erasing it on the left side. Also at the bottom and on top to reveal the shadow. Sometimes erasing works even better. Then just apply the color. We will get the scattered highlight. After the highlight, we can add the reflected light on both dark sides. Actually, we can do it on the same layer. We just need to switch back to brush, make the size small and draw on the edge. Then draw on the second one as well. Let me make this one a little brighter to separate the sleeve from the body and then I will draw here. Let me use eraser to adjust it. I will just erase it on dark sides. And now it is ready. We can deselect and merge these three layers. I think we can continue with the arm. So I'm going to this layer, creating another one above it and it will be clipped right away, since it is located between these two layers. Let's now select this brown color and drag it on the arm to fill. After that I will pick a razor, set it to one charcoal brush. Set the size to around 80% and start erasing it this way. I think we can make the size a little smaller and erase carefully close to the left edge. After that I will select purple color and here I will be using the brush. I'll just increase the size a little and draw on the right side to make it even darker. 
can make the size a little bigger to make the texture more scattered. Once we have the shadow, we can add the reflected light on the edge and also highlight. I think we can create a new layer or even continue working on the same. We just need to switch to pink color. I will lower the size a little and add the highlight here. Then make the size smaller as we did before on the edges. Maybe around 3% and make the stroke on the side. Now it is ready. Let's switch to the second arm. And I will also start with the sleeve. These layers can be merged. Now I am on this layer, creating another one above it, clipping it. And to stay inside the sleeve, I will also get it selected. Go back to the new layer. We can pick the color right from here. I'll increase the size and draw like this on the right side and also make the stroke on the left. Now let's create another layer, also clip it and keep selection active. I will pick pink color for the highlight, make a stroke on the side like this. Then pick a razor and adjust it. I'll erase it on this dark part, also on the edge and keep it only in the middle. Also make it scattered, like this. Once it is ready, we can deselect, merge the layers, go to the layer with the arm and make another layer to shade it. I'll do it exactly the same way as we did the first arm. So I'm picking brown color and dragging it on the shape. After that I will pick a razor and start erasing it here. To reveal the light part. Once we have it, we can pick purple color and add more shading on the right side, also a little on the edge. For the highlight I will create another layer that will be also clipped. Let's pick pink color. I will make the size a little lower and add the highlight. Then I will make the size very small and add reflected light on the dark edge. Like this. Now it is also ready. Let's merge all these layers. I will go to the layer with the belly and create a layer above. It will be also clipped right away. Let's pick brown color, drag it here and then use a razor. I will start erasing it in the center and keep it dark on the edges. I will make the size smaller and erase this part even more. Now let's pick purple color and apply more shading on the lower edge. I'll make a stroke this way, then also go to the right and shade this part under the leg. Go upper. Here I will make like a triangle. Let's now pick pink color. I will create another layer. Draw on the edge like this. And then use eraser. This way this highlight will be textured. 
and we can adjust the thickness. Now that it is ready, we only need to shade the legs. So I'm merging these layers for the belly and I think we can start working on this one. So I'll create a layer above it, clip it and fill it with this brown color. Grab a razor and erase it in the center. Now let's pick purple and draw on this side. A little on the lower edge, since it is also in shadow. After that I will pick pink color, make the size a little lower and then make a stroke for the highlight. With a smaller size I will add the reflected light on this edge to separate it from the belly. It may go to this edge as well. Now let's go here. We can merge these two. So I am creating a layer above this one and also clipping it. Let's do exactly the same thing. So I am picking brown, dragging it here and then using a razor to reveal the light part. After that I will select purple and add darker shadow. It will be located here and on the opposite side. Also right under the belly. Now I will select pink color. First add the highlight here and then add reflected lights on the edges with a small size. I think we can add even more highlight here. Now the teapot is almost ready, we can work on the background. I want to keep the background simple. So first of all let's merge all the layers for the hippo. Create another layer below. Pick mono line from calligraphy and just outline a random shape behind. I'll fill it and adjust a little using liquify. I think this one is fine. After that I will deselect and create a layer above this one. I will draw random circles and ovals all over the canvas using different colors. Let me start with this orange. I will draw here, then another oval at the lower part, fill them. Change the color to brown and draw two more circles. Maybe small one here. I will also fill them. And finally pick purple. Also draw a couple of shapes. A bigger one on this side. Also fill in them and this will be enough. Next I'd like to add the shadow from the hippo. For that I will create a layer above this pink one. Use the same color and outline a novel that will be a little wider and it may go outside the pink shape. Let me adjust it and then fill. After that I will change the lace mode to linear burn and lower the opacity to 58%. Grab a razor that is already set to vine charcoal, set the size to 23% and start erasing the edges.
I will make a few more strokes inwards to make the grainy texture. We can even use warp to adjust the shape. I will move it a little upper, like this. Now that it is ready, I'd like to add the paper overlay in the end. To do that I will go to the top layer and insert the texture. This paper image is from my paper pack, which is available on Patreon. We just need to switch to freeform transformation and drag the sides to cover the entire canvas. After that deselect. Now we can play around with the blending modes. And here we have a few options. We can try overlay, lower the opacity maybe, maybe soft light would also work. But I'd like to use divide. Then set the opacity to 30%. It will work as a filter, make the drawing lighter and also add the texture. After that the drawing is totally ready. If you like this video, please subscribe to my channel and hit that bell icon for notifications. You can also unlock more tutorials and brush sets on my Patreon. Thank you for watching and I'll see you in the next video.